And let's hope the sound is good. Morning thoughts, morning thoughts, morning thoughts. Shout out to the people going out to work this morning. Shout out to the people coming in from work. Sound check, first of all, before I go ahead and say all that. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Great goodies, thank you for being here. Asorin Odetta, thank you for being here. Seymour Bennett, thank you. Seymour, thank you for being here. Uh, Carrie Ann Jones, thank you for being here. Judge Shelley, big up yourself. June O'Brien, thank you for being here. Leslie Stevens, hola, thank you for being here. If you can hear me, just go ahead and give me a sign and say, we hear you so flow. I see this new mic that I'm going to get. It's crispy sounding and stuff. It costs a bit of money, but um, through me cheap. But I'm going to pick the mic up. But anyhow, can you hear me loud and clear before we go into all that? All right. We hear you. We hear you. We hear you. Thank you. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Juno Brian, great goodies in the building. First one in. Denzel, thank you. I can... All right. Marilyn Grant, thank you. Maxine, good as goal is in the building. Seymour, Mr. Article, Don Dea, thank you for the feedback. I'm an inspired here. Caribbean Queen is here. Michelle Howell is here. Asarit Odetta is here. Steve Wright is here. Loud and clear. Who's that? Five Field 63 is here. Hi, everyone, all the way from Great Britain. Big up yourself, family, and thank you for being here. Great goodies is in the building, loud and clear. All right. Cena Sexy is here. Thank you for being here. Kaz Robinson is here. Mervyn, the point, Jamaica Kerr is here. Les Steven, Lessa Stevens is in the building this morning. Thank you for being here. Kai Tai Jai Empress says loud and clear. Ava Terrapin is here. All right. Marcia Forbes is here. Jose Gallo are there. Loud and clear. Sean Cassell is in the building. Big up yourself, Angel of Mine. S. Diva says, yes, we can hear. And Lauren Bernard, good morning. Mrs. Nia, thank you for being here. Main one, thank you for being here. Sean Cassell, thank you for being here. Michelle Howell says, yes, I hear you. Bromwell got locked out. So flow. Uh, Bromo got locked out. What do you mean? On the part of me, I sip me like a mint tea. I'm supposed to pick up a vehicle in about one hour and head to another state, right? By road, driving, lots of hours. So today, I, today I have about today I have about twelve hours of driving to do. Uh, probably more than that. Depends on how traffic and all that stuff goes. So I told y'all this whole week was supposed to be on the road, right? Starting, it starts today. And I've been preparing for it. So you know the live, you're going to see the live for the like here and there. It's spotty. It's okay. Just ride with it because it's going to get better. Because as soon as we get to where we're going and we get set up on all that, and I'm going to be vlogging on the go. So And I'm going to keep you with me. It's going to be some short lives. But I'll try to make them short and enjoyable or informative and all this other stuff, all right? Hope all is good, so flow. We waited for you yesterday. My apologies about yesterday, but I, that's why I keep telling you that I'm going to be on the road, all right? And when I'm on the road, it gets busy out here. I'm so, I, I, I don't know if it's OCD, but can you see this? So the fan is on in the room, and it's, it's, it's shaking the flag. And this is Milani's spot, baby girl. Baby girl, take the marker, then my dry erase marker, and then she does her artwork right here. And then she takes out the pins that I use to hold the, the flag right there. So you see how the flag I dance? And my eyes just can't come off of it. I just finished 18 hours from Florida to New York. Wayne Nathan, damn. That's a, that's a month. I call that a gangster ride. I used to drive from Miami to Brooklyn. I call that a gangster ride, and I did it in one day. It's a 24-hour drive, man, if you don't stop. My kids did that LOL used to. Boy, you know, I don't even say nothing to her anymore. I just try to take the pins away from her because they're sharp, and she can hurt herself. But as far as writing on the wall, I figured it out, right? Parents, listen. If you don't want to stress yourself to death, you know, you know, your mother and your grandmother used to say, you're going to give me high blood pressure, come have to talk so much and all that. It ain't until you become a parent that you really realize that it actually can give you high blood pressure for real. Them know what them did not talk about. So all that constantly sending your heart rate up, talking, talking, put it down, put it down, give that to me. I figured, hey, 
is dry erase markers. Let me get the dry erase markers that are easily erasable. And when me ready for clean the wall, me just clean off the wall. Me actually give them to her. So she mark up all over the house. Sometimes you come in my house, sometimes in some places you look, you'll be like, yeah. Mm. Pick the lid up on the floor. She draw her artwork on the floor. Sometimes her brother join her in. I'm, I just left them, make them do them thing. And I used to be really bothered about it. And then I figured, why are you so bothered? They're babies. They're babies. You think they're not going to be this little forever? They'll soon be, them soon not even want none of your attention, my friend. Because they got them own things that go on in their life, don't it? So just enjoy the ride. And that's what I'm trying to do. But my, my little, I don't know if it's a little OCD or a little something where them putting I mean at the army where everything must be crisp and, you know, dress right, dress and fix this way. I keep, uh, it's a me. But, so, life is much more than that here, man. Anyway, here I know. Uh, Darren Brand is in the building. Morning, fam. Big up yourself. I don't know who's doing Miami this year or who's doing best of the best this year. I keep saying it. Father Beres is on best of the best. That's Beres Hammond for sure. What one dance can do? Yes, listen, man. I've seen him now. This is probably going to be my third time seeing him perform at best of the best. Locked down the place every time. If you want to have a good time, then make your way to best of the best this year because Beres Hammond is on the show. And when he gets to singing and crooning, and Beres has so much energy and is a big man, right? And he has so much energy, he performs, like, commands the stage and the crowd way better. Like, these young entertainers really, really need to take a page out of them money a book. You feel me? But anytime him start, boy, the whole park, they're just swinging and swaying and, hey, it's a vibe. Mr. Vegas is going to be there performing. I promise to be right up front when you can see me. I am blessed. <laughs> All that. A uh, couple of people are going to be there that I really want to see perform. Lolly get to fly out this year. Um, they are far now. I'm just come back from England. Now he's in the U.S. These kind of things. Skill bang there, but I don't know if he's going to make a performance surprise on Best of the Best. It's going to be a festive year. We're going to be at quite some other parties. We have five events in five days. So, um, but wife said don't give out everything so i'm gonna give out everything so who say we see we but i can tell you that we're gonna be at best of the best and if you want to see we there then hit up the vip we'll be over there all right that's the thing that yes kill it back there i don't know if i'm gonna go wap 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 and the me tell you it doesn't matter if you like the song or not understand what the new generation is dealing with and try to understand or try to gravitate towards it a little bit the man say wap 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 and fly out get visa gone you know how much big people me know when they are embassy, they fill out so much application and put in them fee and beg and hope and pray. And I know them can't get the liquor visa for fly out to come exploit some of these opportunities. The man said, wap, 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 wap. And visa I've got. He's in the US living his best life. Me see my New York, I ride bike through the streets. Now me see me in a Florida, chilling in a driveway, you know, Florida style kind of thing. Living a good life. Can't argue with that. Mm -hmm. Wait, main one says, I'm sure Mr. Vegas will be happy to see you. <laughs> Listen up. I've seen Mr. Vegas perform at Best of the Best before. And I've seen him perform in, uh, at other places. And like me always say, him always tear down the place too. Because he has a catalog. He has a catalog. And he can perform as well. He is good on the stage. I've always said that. Go look back, back on the other video them when we do. Even when time him did cuss me and me I cuss him back or me I said what I was saying, I actually said one thing we can't take away from him is his longevity in music and actually how he performed on stage. Him locked on the stage when he performed and the crowd. And it's true. So me give credit where credit is due, man. If, if, him, if him see me, him see me. But I think he'll be so busy focused on getting the job done because... That crowd is a huge crowd, and it's not a crowd that you want to mess up in front of, right? That crowd that can be a crowd that makes or breaks you. You go up there and get focused on the wrong thing, and you your bookings then might dry up faster than anything because people usually look at when they book. Let me see how I'm handle a crowd there and blah, blah. Oh, he flopped. Damn, we mess up. 
okay, we're not going, let's go with somebody else, that kind of stuff. Or they look and they're like, yo, the man turn over the park, buy Centennial Park for best of the best. Get him for our next concert. And that's how bookings go. So it's going to be a joy. Either way, I'll be in on my vibes. So whether man see me or not, I don't care. I'll be with wifey and I will see her. Because if you see our outfit, I don't know if wifey going to be vlogging and showing you all, all that stuff, but I will. If it's in the outfit, <laughs> Mama said she's been working hard and she's about to show it off. I said, go on, Mama, because your uncle young one time in life and that beat some older people, you know, them bitter because, you know, them pile up them young days so them couldn't really show off nothing and then now them old and them really can't show off nothing now so them just vex when them silly little young people them step out, boy. Live your life here, sir, because life I go park you. That's what I told wifey. I said, life is going to park you. My grandfather parked up right now. Who did hotter than him? Life will park you. And you have to go sit down. And you have to go watch other people enjoy the moment. So when you're hot, you're hot. All right? <laughs> don't forget that. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm drinking water and tea at the same time. May I try to stay hydrated for this long drive I may have to go do. But I could not do a live this morning. Melani wake up, wake me up. Kai wake up, wake me up. I really didn't get much sleep last night, but I tried my best. So anyhow, Bomba Clot. Woo, two people just left the chat. So Flo, why? Why the curse words? Why? Why are you cursing? <laughs> why are you cursing, man? It is so dis... Bomba Clot. Okay. Don't be afraid. I'm just expressing myself. All right. Steal a good woman from a workless man. That's the way to go. I saw an article that says sometimes you have to steal a good woman from a workless man. Never thought about that a little bit. Um, leave man and their things. One of the videos I put up about two, three days ago had a whole lot of comments under it. Um, people still think I'm the one that's bashing the victims. I thought about that a little bit. Leave man and them things. Message. All right. And defending Janique Brown. Bomba clot. A bomba clot, she said. Yeah, bomba clot. Like Janique, <laughs> Janique never know. Somebody said, yo, me drop off of the chair. Somebody said, rot it. She never know no other expletives. She never know no, I don't know more of the cuss word them. She don't know the rass clot and the blood clot and the, just bomba clot. This and bomba. If your ears are virgin and if you are holier than thou art, this is the time for you to exit stage left, okay? It's the time for you. Somebody say, oh, great goodies. You counted them? <laughs> I lost count. I lost count. After a while, I was just like, let me just listen to our talk, y'all, man. Because me sure she had to say way more, bumbo clock, and me, me can't count already. See? Me, 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 me lose count. <laughs> Janik went in. If y'all don't know it, Janik is the girl who... Uh, Shakari, the American sprinter who says she like to mash up the place and then the Jamaican sprinter then mash her up and everybody else mash her up on the track because she did come in dead, dead last, back at last. Yeah, we were on there so she looked like she was struggling and then she ran the other day again actually uh, and came in fourth. So she wasn't in the first, second or third either and then Justin Gatlin came out, the world sprinter just retired, Justin Gatlin who failed home many drug tests throughout his career. He came out and he said Shakari is going to break the world record because she's breaking the world record right now in practice. And then she come out and run fourth. And he said, it's just a matter of time. I don't know if she's nervous on the international stage or what, but it's just a matter of time before she transfers that energy to a big meet and shock the world. All right. Shakari come out and said she was abused and she was in love and she had a relationship with a Jamaican athlete. And we did that thing say, which man? Uh, which man again are the strappings? Which Jamaican man? And it was a woman. And it was a female. And then she showed the picture of the female. She outed her. Because this female has never came out before and tell anybody said, I am gay. And I'm happy being gay. And take it or left it and so what? And you know what? To them think kind of sensitive because uh, some of them have to hide who they are until they feel comfortable. Them like for the tell mummy first and break daddy heart first and you know, my granny ball a little bit first and these kind of things. You know, 
sorry for that music. I'm not gonna get no grandkids. And you have your father now with him, a drummy, and then I'm gonna say, Not a blood clot, that means I still have my jeans. And them kind of something that them get shock and expressive. You like to break that to them first before them tell the world about it, right? So once once my family know, I don't give a shit. That's how they flex, right? Well, she didn't, Janine didn't get the chance to do that because Shakari fling it out there and fling our picture out there with it. In case you're confused who it was, Ciaria, I just like that. Oh, my God. So I'm staring at the picture like this, and I'm like, she just outed this girl. Anyhow, she, Jani, forced me to go look her up. Come here and say, who she? What she do? Jamaican athlete, I mean, I know about her. It must be one of the athletes them that's not really doing much of anything. I was surprised. The girl is bad. She is big in the track and field world, collegiate track and field world. She is bigger than Shakari is in international world. She's bigger than Shakari is in athletics in uh, the collegiate world. She is huge. She broke Jackie Joyner Kersey's record of uniting the 200 meter sprint and the um, 100 meter hurdles in the same day. Shattered both records in the same day, same meet. And she now holds that record. So she's not a nobody, right? So when down me have a look, look round, look round, now me I say, let me find some of our video there. Listen to the video. She look, she look like a madu man, right? Remember I told y'all, I said, Jamaicans are, you know, for the most part, conservative people. A lot of them, unless they run into a couple of get up people, and you know, not go already. But still, even then, majority of us are like conservative people. But don't poke the beard the wrong way, or don't put your finger in the lion's mouth the wrong. Let's see, eat that man up a zoo where put him finger in the lion's mouth. God give him good, good finger. Then him look at him finger. Them I say, I don't want these no more. Me have them too long. Never ask finger I have. Me. Let me see what the lion can do with it. I'm pushing finger in that lamp. Y'all saw that? That's like how Jamaicans are, right? They don't bother you much. They're probably arr, like two times. Hey, that's what. Your blood clot. Leave me alone, no man. But I know you hear me left me alone. But when you hear bumbo clot and the, the bumbo clot, them tar chip, you know, so things get serious, right? That's when you want to leave all your belongings and cut unless you're ready for a war, right? So I watch our video, we see the whole heap of bumble clock this, bumble clock that, me I said, no, this no look good. It look like she touch. So my granny used to say she touch, him touch. That means something wrong in your head. So I went and looked up all her other stuff. That's how I know about her as a super athlete. And I'm willing to put my money on it that she's going to be standing on a podium at an Olympics. She bad, like that bad. Broke Jackie Joyner Kersey's record. That stood for 30-something years. Anyhow, watching all her other interviews, I realized that something wrong because this wasn't her. And I went as far back as 2014, 2015, right? All the way up to 2020, 2021. And I said, something is off. Because all her videos were like, yes, and hi, and did you like it? Did you see it? Yeah, well, I, I struggled on a, a little bit in the beginning, but then I got myself over, you know, and this is why I run. And, and I say yes, and then because of that video there, on a better wake up, on a better bumble clock, wake up. Oh, man, I profit in this, man, I got in this bumble clock. I said something wrong. But in her defense, I had to do this video this morning because somebody said, so Flo, you should have wear your bumble cloud shirt when you do it. So see it here. All right. And it says appropriately bumble cloud. But it says, don't be scared because I'm just expressing myself. I think the girl was just expressing herself. And watching the comment section of the video I put up yesterday with her, someone was too rough, man. Someone was too judgmental. Everybody can't be so perfect for social media. This is the reason why I'm kind of like stay away from people because people want you to be what they want you to be, even though them themselves is not what they want to be. Don't let that go over your head. You heard what I just said. People want you to be what they want you to be, even though they themselves is not what they themselves want to be. Them have your whole life figured out and all the solutions to all your problems. 
and for them life full of problem, right? So all this fake righteousness stuff, come on now, man. The girl say a bunch of bumble cloth. Oh, what? Get past the bumble cloth and listen to what she did. I really said. See? Um, I see comments like, oh, she is so uneducated and she is so um, I must get her she come from. Some people said, some people said stuff like she's the worst that Jamaica has to offer. Her track career is over. Send her back to Jamaica. Oh, that one should have stayed in Jamaica, not come here. And I'm I'm reading these comments and I'm saying to myself, I wonder if they know who this girl is. They don't, because I didn't either, right? But at least go look up people before you start cast judgment. See? Somebody said, I can't tell her she never went to school and she needs to go to some kind of school and get educated. You know who she ran for, right? You know who recruit her out of Jamaica, right? You know that so she completed um, her university education, right? You know I said, there are lawyers, doctors, teachers, everybody like that in these professions that you glorify that actually express themselves like that outside of the professional environment, right? Right. The only problem is you're seeing it. So I was asking people yesterday, I said, do you want me or the world to catch a two, five-minute video of you ranting because you're so angry and then use these video clips to say, this is who you are as a person? Hmm? I wouldn't want you to catch my video of me. I, I shell out the bumble clock them. And then the round there talk about, oh my God, so Flo is so, and he is this, and he is that, and he is nasty, and him dirty, and him mouth, think like, and, him this, and, and you know that's not me. Like, that's not, that's a part of me. <laughs> that's a part of me, and that part of me was awoken or awakened by situations. See it? So in her defense, man, I'm just saying, because I don't want the girl to watch the video and then think, oh, the boy that tear me down for them channel because this happened to me before with another youth out of the UK that I was trying to help. I was trying to bring light to his situation because he was on the list to be deported, even though he had gone to the UK as a minor, right? And the brother called me and him said, yo, I understand, right, that you say you're trying to help and all that, but uh, take my thing down, man. Take it down. I see it. And I said, brother, you listen to what I said? Did you listen to what I said about your situation? He said, yes, but do you see your comment section, so flow? And I said, okay, listen, the voice, um, something male. I named them a whole, even CNN carried his story. And I named them all these places that carried his story. And he says, yes, these are big entities. I understand that. But nobody not really paying attention to those. You are in the Caribbean communities and you, you deal with a lot of Jamaican stuff. So naturally, these people are Jamaican and are Caribbean connected. They're more likely to see me on yours. And the way how your audience did me in the comment section, this could be bad for my case because my case is still going through. Because the people that in the comment section are going like the foreigners for them alone. Send him back. The youth went to England at about three or so years old as a picnic, small picnic. Send him back. I don't care if him got it when he was no three or nothing. At least he should have figured it out by now on his own and go get his own paper straight. Your mommy can't um, and daddy can't hold your hand forever and whatever. Towards your own people, you know, and he took offense to that. And he took offense to the fact that I wasn't checking these people. And I wasn't saying, yo, the youth came here as a child. Sometimes when you grow up a certain way, you don't know no better. Like your parents didn't tell you that you are illegal or your stay is null and void or you need to go do certain paperwork to make sure you're permanent here and good um, immigration wise. And you've been here since you were little. You just automatically thought, hey, this is where I'm growing up and this is my life. You don't, you know, you don't know about none of them, something there. And plus he wasn't traveling, so he didn't know. And our people have no sympathy for him. And because of that, I'm telling you, take the video. And I like how he's being discussed in the comment section because it could be damaging to him. And I saw the video that I put up of her, Janik Brown, and I said to myself, yo, the way that my murder in the comment section, I have to say something about this because I really don't want her to think that that's my intention when I put that video up. My true intention was stated in that video. I hope good people surround her 
See, I hope good people surround her. And I hope she continues to focus on track and field. She even, one point she said, she know, like track and field, I know our destiny or uh, whatever like that. Like, you know, she's so thrown off right now. He didn't want the finger anymore. <laughs> yeah, the brother just look at him good, good finger them and shrug, shrug them in a lion mouth like in Thailand finger them. She definitely was trying to hurt her or damage her. Kata Jai Empress says she was, she was. And the nerve of somebody to say, oh, because she's a Jamaican, she gets a pass. But if anybody else does a video ranting like this with this much um, profanity and whatever, you would have you would have had so much more to say. Matter of fact, if this was two men, two men in the story, you wouldn't even have mentioned this story. That's a lie. Let, let me let me out loud say it for that person. Cause I mean, I understand that people tune in every day. That's new. So you have to keep renewing yourself and keep repeating your message. I don't give up a clot about your lifestyle, personal lifestyle. It means nothing to me. Let me tell you what I care about or what I'm scared of. Gay people don't scare me. Lesbian and Batman don't scare me. What scare me is the heterosexual brother who look for my wife and think she too sexy for me, right? He scares me because him might get so jealous that he feel like, oh, them car look good, them house look good, the brother you are going with things, just out of jealousy. Me can't get none away him have. Go on, kill him. That's how our people flex. And them the people that scare me. I don't give a damn about what you do with yourself, right? Trying to be the man of the relationship, question mark. I don't know if the man or woman in any relationship, I feel them business that. I don't go that deep in thought. I don't lend my mind to think so much as to what they do. And me and wifey was talking about this yesterday, you know, and I said to her again, anytime I find heterosexual, so-called heterosexual people so obsessed with gay people, I always look at those heterosexual people with one of them kind of eye there. Cause why concern you so much, fam? Why? Then your mind have to go wonder now who is the man in the relationship and who is the gay in the relationship or the, the woman in the relationship and who is the... And then your mind gone more into what they do when they're doing the do. And the, now you have a whole porn movie going on in your head, a whole gay porn and all that. Like, why? It's not that serious. It's not that serious. Not for me. So I'm not concerned about all that. The girl was pissed off and the girl licked her chick, man. Yes, Stash, exactly. And the whole lot we have that side there, right? Some of us are just so fake. We're just the perfect person for social media. And may I tell you, you know, you see me? I try to keep it as real as possible because that's the only way to be. That way I don't have to worry tomorrow about rotting. What was I yesterday? Let me see if I can remember again before the people and find out something fake or I'm faking this personality. No, that I'm, I'm that too. The, if you look at her video, you will see me if you piss me off the wrong way if you i'm not gonna i'm not the one that's gonna sit there and be like uh oh, just let it roll off i, mean, I might I'm, i might let more go i might i don't know i might i might be a bit more composed and let more go but we all have that point you see it? michelle howell says same sex peeps are the most jealous of the love race jealous with passion i don't know about that can I see more heterosexual man kill off them woman than anything else? So, <laughs> so I see gay people fight and cut up each other and bust each other head and run each other down the road and all that. But majority of the murders that I've seen, they came from heterosexual couples. Woman kill her husband because he might cheat. Um, man chop up him wife because she a cheat. And you know, that, that, that them levels of jealousy that, that cause you to take somebody's life. I, it's not, yeah, I wouldn't go as far as saying all that. Rosemary King, big up yourself and thank you for being here. Seymour Bennett says, at Stash, there's nothing wrong with the zoo. And the boy is a damn idiot. Never wrong. <laughs> Boy, listen up. Uh, back to this though. So, Jenny, her, her school, on her school website, there's a big dedication to her at the university website. And it says, 
Her name is spelled Janique, but it's pronounced with a Y, Yannick. So I'm probably calling her name wrong by keep on saying Janique. The school said it says her name is pronounced Yannick Brown. Go look her up as an athlete. You'll be very surprised. She is so good as an athlete that I'm willing to take my mind off everything else that is going on around her, all the publicity. But remember what, what you saying both said enough. You saying said that the publicity could bring a lot of attention to track and field, but you have to have the talent to back it up, right? I think she has the talent to back it up, but I don't think she wants that kind of a publicity, you know? I think she wants her own from publicity to shine on her own merit, not to be known as Shakari's ex, just to be known as Yannick Brown, Yannick Brown the hurdler, Yannick Brown the 200 meter champion, Yannick Brown the whatever, right? The Jamaican athlete that shattered so-and-so record. I don't think she want to be known as Shakari X, Shakari X, Shakari X, because every time they refer to her as Shakari X, Shakari X, it takes away from her own greatness as in establishing a brand and a name for herself. Adidas, Puma, Nike, they can't market her as Shakari X. They have to market her as Yannick Brown, right? So there she is, man. And welcome to SoFlo TV Live exclusive. Marcia McGann Lopez, thank you for being here, my friend. Uh, Stunner Entertainment said, I've never seen someone question why gay people talk so much shit about straight people, but when start people talk about gay in a certain way, now everyone has something to say. Stunner, here's the thing, though. I don't hear, I don't hear gay people. I'm not around them, so I don't know. But when I do hear their conversation, I don't hear them discussing who's straight and what straight people do. I don't... I always see the obsession among so-called heterosexual people on gay content. You know, we're in the, we're living in the social media world, right? So everything, all stuff where you're not subscribed to a past yeah, yeah. So sometimes you click on stuff and then you're, you're there, are interesting topic being discussed, whatever. And then the comment section is filled. You realize, say, this is some gay stuff. And I be a straight people in a comment section, like overly pressed about the people them lifestyle and what them are doing them body parts and all these things i'm not saying i'm defending them i'm just saying that what i see you know what i mean what i see and if it's why is it that concerning to you why is it that concerning to you i don't care about all that there's much more important things out there to think about man much much more than to worry about who is kissing who and who are rubber pan, who are who are you, which body part. None of them ever come to you yet and say, yo, let me borrow your body. Your, your body. Let me borrow your own. Let, let me borrow your two breasts them, because tonight I have a, a little thing I go on with a thing. Let, let me borrow your mouth. Let me borrow your... None of them never did. So it doesn't bother me. None of them never jump out of the bush for me yet. Hey, come here, me why you and me have to run for my life. None of that ever happened. I'm not worried about that. I'm not worried about them. I told you before, I'm more worried... So, ah, let's end it like this. There was a comment left, and I left a comment under the video. Somebody said, yes, so Flo, people are worried because they are depopulating the black population. Ah, you know, Mr. Ignorance is a hell of a rotten, clotted thing in a man. First of all, right, in order to depopulate, you must be killing what is already there in existence. So, for instance, um, the little <coughs> chest, I heard me something where them have a go around the other day, where them have where wear a mask for and enough people dead. That's it was depopulating, it was killing out a whole heap of people. I do see no gay people are doing this sitting there. I do see uh, my brothers taking up the gun, right, and depopulating our black race. Kill all a man and left him six picking them. Yeah, that's why I said that earlier. That that's what is really concerning to me. The more pressing issue is the jealousy, envy, greed among us, and how we are killing out each other and acting like, uh, two more dead again. Well, I'm not in triple murder yesterday. Well, I saw the thing set double murder the day before. Boy, I just saw it stay here, man. Oh, yo, 
And then, then we go dance to songs like Bad Man Alone Can Shift My Panty. That's the woman them. And then the man them talk about she want a gunman in her hole. And she over there say, yeah. And then the news again say, four more dead today. Two more murder yesterday. The, like, uh, I'm more worried about that. I'm more worried about that. And if you check the stats, them are no gay people. I'm not saying some of them might not be some undercover gay or some might not be some this gay or some that gay. But majority of those people are some man where have them woman and them picnic and them so them a gallus and them running road and this and that and talk up in a gun boy and marrow fly power and live it in a real life. And y'all know, y'all know the the the, 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 the the perception, but the perception is a reality. That right there. See? So them there, me more worried about. Because them killing us out by the thousands. Jamaica experiences over 1,200 murders continually every single year. Some years we go all the way up to 1,600 and stuff, 1,600 and something. Okay, we've been doing that number for well over a decade now. So it's safe to say that at least, at least 15,000 Jamaicans have died. In the past decade alone from murder you know out of, from gunshot and tub up and 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 you know how many of those were parents that left behind young children who had to now fend for themselves in this big crazy world you know how many of those were fathers that were real protectors and providers that's no longer here so man start take advantage of them daughter as they grow because daddy not here to protect her. She's able, she has to grow now without the protection of a father. Them something them you worry about. We don't worry about people, but I'm about people mouth and which part people are doing them, what, what part and what they have to say. Even when they talk, I don't listen. Even when it comes my way, it bumps off on my head side. So stop being so obsessed and possessed with these people business as in you care too much. You care too much. You have me looking at you like, why you care so much? You know what I'm saying? When there are much more pressing issues to actually care about. Kata Ajay says, some of us are too pressed about other people's bedroom life and what's going on in your bedroom than what's going on in your bedroom. Fox. Fox. 15,000 is half of Jamaica National Stadium. All right. All right. And, and and I was willing to say we've been doing that for two decades. But just to be on the safe side, let me just say one. And the number is mind-blowing. So you think we have time to talk about which girl went there with which girl? Or which man went there with which man? It, it, it. You understand? More pressing issues are there. I'm going to say it again. I said it on the video yesterday before I move on to the next topic. Uh, we, have, we, have, we have about 15 minutes left in here. Um... I wish her nothing but the best. I'm not using your blood clot, bumble clot, bumble clot, bumble clot, bumble clot. I'm not use it for judging my girl. All right? Me know and being honest that enough how we stay the same way so. People in them house across each other, them lover and friend. Move your blood clot, your bumble clot, I'm tired of you. And then they get on the computer and be like, oh my God, her mouth, she needs jeers. It needs to be washed out. And not that hypocrite. See? I wish for you nothing but the best. I want you to refocus, though. Shift focus because you can do great things. And it's going to be a hell of a thing to watch your story unfold. All right? To bomba cloth. See that? Now, on to the next topic. Mrs. Somebody said, steal a good woman from a workless man. Sometimes that is what you have to do. May I keep this one short? You can't steal anybody. The headline says, steal a good woman from a workless man. That is what you have to do sometimes. Me say, you can't steal anybody. You can't thief who don't want to be stolen, my friend. When you see her out with you and she's on your arm, but her eyes is going everywhere and she look, she look for somebody. And then she said, she's giving signal or... He's giving signal that I want to be stolen. You can probably steal me. Oh, you can steal me. You can steal me. And everybody are lucky I with them. You can steal me. 
Them people that want to be stolen, but you can't steal a good woman or man from their partner. You understand? Here's what a good woman will do. Since the, the, the article said woman, here's what a good woman will do. Here's what a good man will do. They'll separate themselves from the person they're with because they realize that it's going nowhere. And then they will either start to look for someone else or they won't. But they will first separate from that situation. Then they will move forward. See, some of them will even go into celibacy. Take time to process what just happened from the last relationship. Cleanse themselves spiritually and all these other things. Wash off what happened over there. And then start again anew. Focus on themselves. Some of them focus on themselves, you know, man. Them go get body done. Them go get breast done. Them go get the... Ladies, why you all do that? Miss you gonna spend thousands of dollars. Get body done, breast done, all that, and then go take up one bugo yaga boy. We can't even laugh. <laughs> like, you spend all that just to go do that? Why? If you are gonna do all that, you see, go take up a tapanaris. All word we are used today, go take up a tapanaris if you are gonna do all that. No matter who you see, I'm gonna take up no little bro. And the boy, listen now, let me, let me stay on track. Let me stay on track. Okay. So you cannot steal anybody that does not want to be stolen. And if you stole somebody, then you think that person is good? Yeah, them go back. Return to who you stole it from. Return to owner. All right, because here what? Just like how you thief them from somebody, in time, in somebody paranoid, you know? Jesus Christ, I'm a thief, Marcia, from David, you know, the year was so flow over here. Say, in time, no, I'm a look for Marcia like you want to come her head. Who you been talking to? Leave Marcia alone. She's good. She's good. In time, if you stole her or him, somebody, because it's somebody will like to be stolen. Not true? So they're looking to be stolen again for, for better. See, this is it. This is life and karma. Them tell themselves, say, them, you steal them out of a bad situation and made things better for them, right? So surely, somebody can steal them from you and make things even more better. And then somebody can thief them from that person there and make things even more, more better. I'm on my way to riches and diamond rings. I'm on my way to everything that is supposed to be good in life if I keep getting stolen. In time, who you thief? I'm going to get thief back. So you can't thief good people. Good people don't want to be stolen. Okay? Good people put in them time in them relationship. Them try everything to make it work. That's why some people are so exhausted when a relationship is over with. That they're not even want to see nobody. Right? And you're like, damn, well, why are you, why are you alone? You, I mean, you fine and everything. You got everything going on for yourself. Why are you alone? I don't like you need somebody to help you with nothing. You it. Why are you alone? Man, listen. I, I, I gave my all and then some in that last one. It still didn't work. So here what? Me a breeze out. See? <laughs> Me a breeze out. Carrie Ann Jones says she'll wait for a better opportunity. Yeah, she just chilling with you for a better opportunity. When that comes along, stolen again. If somebody will like getting stolen, some people like to be stolen. Hey, every time I was stolen, it was better than, the, than what I was in before. So steal me again, please. That's why I see them out the road. I search like this. The eyes are the windows to the soul. The eyes never lie. Right? But no, listen to what I'm just saying. No. The eyes are the windows to the soul. And the eyes never lie. That's the reason why you'll be walking with wife. And Mr. Man, I walk with wife, you know, and get a hot box out of nowhere because his favorite thing just passed and he couldn't help it. Oh, God, hold my head straight. In the name of the most high, please hold my head straight. You could have hold my head straight. Hey, why are, you, why, are you, why are you doing that in front of me? You're like, what? What did I do? Okay, play dumb, John. Play dumb. If I saw you, he could have hold his head straight. The eyes of the window to the soul, man. I'm trying to hold it in like this. He's like, God, please hold my head straight. I couldn't do it. I couldn't hold my head straight. The eyes going to give you away every time. Right? But that's okay. It's okay to look. We look. 
Who's going to walk into a flower garden and see all these beautiful flowers and not look? Especially if you're someone that's into flowers. You know what I'm saying? You're going to look. You're going to be like, man, those yellow ones are beautiful. Yo, them green ones with that purple stuff in the middle, what is that? And they got the little orange thing sticking out at the bottom. Those are gorgeous. And you over here and you look at these flowers, we're in a garden. This is the garden, right? This is God's garden. And all these varieties and spices around the place. Man, they have a man and woman. So we're going to look. The thing, though, is don't look so much that your partner feels disrespected. Some people be doing it like right with their partner, just over there and stop. Just stop. I skin out. I skin, they might as well just get a room. Just trip off your clothes and ride right now. Yeah, babe. Babe, say so you ever say, I'll distract your partner to you know. Babe, look over there. So you see that something that went heaven? Yeah, that one there, over there. So, uh, no, man. Don't, don't look a bit more. You see it? You, you see it? You, you know, see it? You know, see it? No? The, work extra hard for somebody looks. Work extra hard for somebody eye contact. I rip. Jane and her call it. Work extra hard for somebody eye contact in your presence. That can be embarrassing. That can be very embarrassing, but it happens. See? So the discipline comes with, uh, yeah, that's, that's, distract yourself. Get more into who you with. Get more into who you came with. I was at Best of the Best one of them years. Yeah, I haven't been to Best of the Best in about two years or so, or three years or so. But I was with Best of the Best uh, at one of them years here. And I was with, I was there with Shakira. And we sat and saw, and we watched for the longest. This brother had a whole conversation over an woman's shoulder to the point where she found, she knew it. Eventually, she found out what was going on, right? And she did it. I don't know if Shakira remember this, but she, she was embarrassed. And I think she eventually walked off and left him there. And she was like, okay, yeah, that's what you want? Then go ahead, because I'm trying to talk to you. You're not even paying any attention to me because you're staring and this girl for so long, you know, I was going to let it go at first, but damn, at least you could turn your head this way and acknowledge me sometimes. You know, if it get like that, then why? But you know, some people go around looking to be stolen, okay? And if you're done with one of them people there, then just know, say, hey, it's just a matter of time. And eventually, they'll be stolen, male or female. And then there are good people out there who you can't thief. You can't thief good people. You steal who wants to be stolen. Some of your man I talk about, yo, I'm a tech queer boy, y'all. I would tell that brother, don't be embarrassed. Don't be embarrassed. God moved that germs out your way so something faithful and strong can come stand up in your life. Not wanted to be stolen, my brother. And somebody thief it. Like a thief in the night, the devil sent that thief, the thief, what was his, not yours. You're good to go. Work your thing out. I'm going to find somebody better. That's all I say. Thank you. I'm going to find somebody better. The coast is clear. You know, if I go through no breakup now, you know, if I talk about it, it's not you, it's me. You know, if I worry about if she's going to mash up your car glass tomorrow or nothing, and I'm not leaving. I don't give a damn. And uh, you don't have to worry about none of that no more. She's gone. Somebody t for you. You're good to go now. You see? Worried about stuff you're supposed to be worried about. So again, you can't thief good people. Let's get that one off the board. The last one for the morning now is this. Leave man and them things alone. Somebody keeps saying every damn time I do these video topics. Come and put up a video the other day where uh, that girl who got killed in the grocery store in Jamaica on New Year's Eve, the one where the married man did take up and build to him, him to rent her a place, you know? Watch her move like a clown. Him didn't rent her a place. So when time the relationship mash up, him can say, okay, me stop paying the rent. Lease up. Go about your business. No, him go bill our house. Bill our house, you know. Me not catch it blood clean for fire if me that man. But the man bills her a house and take all her credit card, the man pay them off, all her debt and everything. So when he's on his way to prison now, 
in the day I talk about, you know about something me do for a girl that me take her up, you know, and me give her everything, you know. Okay, people, I understand that he had a wife, and I understand that he had a child or two children, one of those. And him still, the one side chick to be faithful to him. You see, this dysfunction. First of all, your side piece will never be faithful to you because your side piece knows that them are side piece. Your side piece know that you have another piece where you comfortable with go wrap up in a bed at night where them supposed to do. Sit down and be cold and the AC like this and wait till you come back again. It's not going to happen. So anyhow, message of the morning. Ladies, if you don't want a man, don't take nothing from him. And when I said don't take nothing from him, I mean anything at all. I could have one buster. Oh, no, too young for remember buster. Okay, I could have one sweetie. Oh, no, 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 what sweetie is. Your generation call it candy. It could be a candy bar. Don't take nothing from him. Pedophiles lure children in with candy. Now, what do you think he might do with you? Eh? I can't him, I can you with candy. As small as a candy. Don't take nothing. You could be walking to work every day and your foot them tired. Get up earlier and walk go. When him pull up, spurps, as a jumpy, you know, y'all gonna say, boy, I'm carrying nice and everything, you know, and him look like him, but can't go to work every day, you know, hey, don't do it. Because when him ready, he will cuss you and tell you, oh, yo, run me some pum pum, because, yeah, what, yes, expensive, you see, yo, the other day, I'm gonna fill up my tank, you know, and I almost 100 US dollar cost me to fill up my tank of gas, you know. So if you think no man will give you none of that for free, every man wants something in return. Remember that. And don't sit there and tell yourself, but no man, I just saw him steer, man. And or the other mistake that they make is telling themselves that like, oh him, John, John soft, man. They won't go on like him talk. Don't do it. Silent river run deep. Don't do it. No, because you hear you see John just kick back so and you are going with the foolishness. Left man and them things alone. That situation did not work out good for that young lady. She in at the lunchroom. At the job, new boy come kiss her on her job. New Year's is coming in. Everybody is excited. We're going to do the countdown and move into a new year. She turn around and tell the boy, I said, I should have palmed my mouth, you did kiss me. And the man with Bill House, Gio, and all that. So here, people now, soft law. Is that dirty, dirty, nasty boy, and blah, 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 and him having wife and everything. Well, she knew that he had a wife. You see this tech man culture thing where we have? Yeah, me, I take a girl man and make him spend for me. Well, it's all cost of your life. Because if wifey don't kill you, she, he might kill you. And you see how it turned out. Right? So, end of the day, I can't save the man. Because the man brain I got chip. And not every man handles stuff the same way. Who I can try to save is the female. Because if she don't take anything from him, then we have nothing to talk about. It's that simple. Because nothing like that now go on with you. Understand? All right. And to the man then, I will say this with my last minute that's left on this live. Again and again and again. I don't know who brought some out you know. I don't know, Mr. Tekiba. I don't, <laughs> I don't know who brought some of you, but listen up. Only give what you can afford to lose. You see when woman ready for left? You see when she creep up everything and go about her business? You're supposed to say, mm, go on with it. Take out, take everything and go on with it. Because me done too. You're not supposed to run her down and want to chop her up. And where you go with this? This is for me. Where you go with that? That a... Top tech man things. And men, stop giving more than you can afford to lose. You will never be hurt if you give only what you can afford to lose. You hear me say? The man them were hurt and the man them were going to empty out them life savings. And tell themselves, say, I'm going to make it back, man, because she's going to die with me for the long run. And she wasn't. She gone, your bank account empty, and now you have to go struggle again from the bottom for you to tap again. Don't do it. I pride myself on this. Call me broke. Who cares? I don't care. Call me cheap. Who cares? So flow cheap, you know. 
Why? Me cheap because I don't give you my hard earned things. How does you getting my hard earned things equate to me being cheap? I don't know, but you can call me anything you want to call me, but the one thing you can do, you see? You can't let me make me hold my head because I'm going to kill myself or kill you now because you left me with nothing. Mm -mm. Never. There's not one female on the face of this earth that can say so flow TV, me nyam him out. Me boops him out, you know. A boy they have to spend upon me, you know. Ne Unless you were wifey. That's it. So, man on the top of the madness, but me understand, say, y'all are going to keep on doing it because that's the game, you know. You flash your little something where you have and you pull in two females who are in need and then them end up nyam out everything where you have and now you want to kill her. Women, don't take nothing from a man who you not plan to do nothing with. All right? And it's most important, let's close it like this. It's most important, listen to my last words, to be up front before you give up front. It's most important to be up front before you give up front. Think about it. Don't make it go over your head. Yeah, me and you aren't going to really have anything, you know. We can't run a little something, you know. Be upfront. Anything you give me, me take it. But me know you have your own man. Me no want you like that. If hey, it we grown people. Be upfront before you give up front. But we need that pan a t-shirt to bomba cloth. Watch out. Nice and easy. This morning, have a wonderful day, everybody. Big up on yourself. Manners and respect to each and every one of you. Thank you for tuning in, and I will catch you some other day. I'm going on the road right now. I will be on the road for a week straight. You will see me from different locations when I can. All right? One love. Peace.